what is going on everybody my name is Luke and today guys I have an awesome tutorial here in Cinema 40 for you guys and this is going to be who every anybody who likes to do Minecraft renders in Cinema 40 and anybody who's getting into that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial here today I will be providing a download link for the rig I use which is Weed Lion so it's a very good rig I will be providing the link for it down in the description so check it out and I might be providing some other rigs if you guys want to play around with that so yes all right let's go ahead and get into this tutorial here today as you can see I have my basic Steve rig and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to move the arms with this so make sure you get that rig I'm using Weed Lion just in case if you guys were wondering if you're using a different rig it shouldn't be that much uh, different but let's go ahead and get into this so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by wanting as you can see we got our basic tools we can rotate the camera using the little spiral tool right up here and we can move the camera side to side or we can move it uh, like back and forth so yeah alright so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make a basic pose so whenever you go into your GFX or I mean not your GFX but to your rig you're gonna wanna start off with the pose so I always give him sort of a cool type of pose give it get him that like fear looking look by making the arms kind of go off to the side and you, it's up to you guys whether what you want to do you can make your guy look like he's dancing I've done a few of those but I usually go for that fierce type of look when I do my renders and it but it's totally up to you I have some really good tips here so make sure you guys stick around so I'm gonna move the legs all you have to do is click the uh, little bottom like the little bottoms to the stuff down here and as you can see you can do that and you can actually choose different skins with the weed line rig if you click on this you have your this little option to where you can choose your skin uh, for this tutorial I'm not going to do that right now however that option is there if you guys would like to so yeah it's really cool so I always give him this fierce type of look and I'm gonna go ahead and give him here's where a really cool part comes into so you see this little rotating tool right up here you're gonna want to click on that and this little box right here this little pink line sort of thing you're gonna want to uh, click on it with the rotating tool kinda make him look like his back is bent and then here's where something really cool comes into you guys you can actually click on this little pink line around his neck and kinda make him look up and then off to the side a little bit by moving it that way so there that's the that's what we have so far so um... I'm going to give him sort of an angry type look by going over here with the eyebrows. See this little options right here? I can make the eyebrows move. So uh, let's go ahead and give him a funny, angry looking type thing. So uh, mine actually overlays for some reason, which is kind of weird. There we go. So he has like that angry look. And now I can also move the mouth to a cool type of thing if I want to give him a frowning face then that option is always there so yep but I'm just gonna give him that angry type of look maybe I'll make the mouth drop open a little bit more uh, get him kinda tight like he's yelling at someone I don't know what, whatever you guys like to go for so let's move the camera angle towards this way because it looks better this way so there we go this is really cool now if you guys want to add items and with the weed lion, you can actually, there, it automatically gives you some tools you can use, as well as accessories. So if I wanted to add sunglasses to my guy, I could add sunglasses, but I don't think that would look good. And let's take that off. So another good tip is if you guys have a freaking uh, a skin with like some kind of hairstyle and you notice it's not there click on the second hat layer and it will give you that but uh, the Steve skin obviously doesn't have that so yeah uh, hold on I think I messed up with the setting alright anyways uh, alright so yeah I, this is what I have so far this is what you guys could do if you would like to make sure you like you know uh, kinda copy what I do if you guys wanna go for this type of look um, so now we are gonna want to we're gonna want to go down here. I said we were going to. I forgot what we. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about the um, accessories. So we have a sword right here. We could put in his hand if I wanted to give him a sword. I could give him a axe or a pickaxe or whatever. I'm giving an axe for right now. All right, guys. So now that we have all of that out of the way, now we are gonna want to cut into the render settings. So this is what I have so far. 
I don't really want to add anything else. As you can see, we got our awesome pose right here. So next thing we're, we're going to do is we're going to do render. Also, if you guys do want to add items in their, his hand, you guys can look up item packs for that. There, it, there are like item packs where you can add like, uh, I don't know, like a clock for instance and other stuff like that. So basically now you're going to want to go to render edit render settings and mainly what you're going to want to do is you're going to select your your dimensions is going to your I recommend these dimensions it's 1920 by 1080 and select ambient occlusion and make sure you select evaluate transparency and then you're pretty much done so now that you have got all that you can just hit this little button right here for your render and it will render out so yeah guys hopefully you all enjoyed this I hope you guys can start getting into, uh, you know, making yourself some awesome GFX and renders and stuff out in Minecraft because, well, Minecraft related renders, it, it's, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you guys do want to see more, more tutorials, make sure you subscribe and give this video a like. So here's what we have so far. It's a pretty good render as you can see. Hopefully you guys do like this. I like it. I think it looks really nice. I might use this as well so you know you never know so i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys do want to see more tutorials like i said i might have some other tutorials like in photoshop and stuff for you guys so yeah make sure you hit that like button and if you're new subscribe so yeah make sure you save this as well to the, your file where you want to save it so uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you on the next video peace